Hey y'all, this repair is getting pretty close to its cure time. Y'all know me, I'm gonna push my luck. Let's go on back to the pond and check the stability on this boat before we put stabilizers on it. Let's go. Cricket, you riding on the trailer, you riding on the four wheeler? Huh? Where you riding? Let's see where you riding. Yeah, she's getting on the four wheeler. All right, first things first. Right here, where I done the patch on the outside, I decided not to put the JB wheel on the inside. So I'll still have to fix that leak. I think it's still structurally okay. It's not sealed off. Anyway, that's all for that. So now we're going to set it up right there. I'm not going to risk messing up my wireless mic. So y'all just bear with me on this. Uh, iPhone audio. I'm just gonna go just offshore, just off the bank a little piece, just enough to uh, see how stable this boat is before the stabilizers. Back of the boat, I can take water in right there, as you can see, if I lean that way. So I can definitely use some stabilization right there. fairly stable it'll benefit well from some stabilizers I believe so I just want to show y'all how I do it woohoo Y'all saw the boat in the water. Y'all saw me get wet. The way I plan to do this build right here, 
with these stabilizers is with this. This is three inch by four inch downspout vinyl from, this is from Lowe's. You can get it at Home Depot or wherever. Just call before you go, cause you may do like I did and run up to Home Depot where they say they got it and they ain't got none in stock. But anyway, I actually wanted something that was four by six, but this is the biggest they make it. And it comes in 10 foot sticks. It is $15 a stick, so that's not bad. Now the way I intended to mount this on here was to put it flush at the back. I was gonna come up to the front, cut it off the same angle as the boat. And I intended on drilling some like one inch holes through this outside right here. And then knock a quarter inch hole through the boat. It's above the water line, ain't no big deal and uh, bolt it on like that. Started out was going to use washers and I feel like it needed more support this way. Otherwise you're just hanging on in the middle of this being vinyl, you know, it may not be all that secure. So then I was going to take this angle iron and cut it off where it would fit inside like this, cut it off use that for a washer and a bracket but i happen to have a junk pile and there's good and bad about having a junk pile the bad is obvious you got a junk pile it's an eyesore but if you can stack it mostly off in the woods somewhere at a site then you got the good side and in my junk pile i happen to have some of these old recessed lights that I got and didn't throw away. Well, on this recessed light, you pull this little tab right here and you got a piece of galvanized metal that'll fit. About perfectly right inside there. So I can now cut this and make two brackets to go on here. So I'm gonna put four, so I'll cut two of these in half and uh, that'll have me covered for one side. So everywhere that I drill one of the one inch holes down through here is gonna give me a spot where I can shoot spray foam insulation into into and the idea is to fill this thing completely up with that and see how that does buoyancy wise see how well that, that holds up the boat and uh so this will be bolted to the boat but it'll be bolted to the inside back here through one of these brackets now i told you that i had planned on cutting this off the same angle as the front of the boat but looking a little closer this is where that front seat is and that's going to be a booger up under there trying to get it mounted and I, this does not need to go all the way up to the front of the boat to work so make things easy I'm going to cut a 45 degree angle down through here and then mount my bolt right there so when I'm putting my 45 degree angle on here or thereabout what I'm trying to do is look over here where my bolt's going to be and try to make sure that I'm going to have a good bite in there for that bracket so I may want to come back this way just a hair you don't want too much because then it's going to be trying to pull away from the boat most likely so that's going to be my line where I'm going to cut that off 
if I can make a suggestion to you, if this is successful and you decide to do it on your boat, uh, I started out trying to use these clamps on here, but no success on that. It'd hold on there for a little bit, then it'd work loose. Cause these things aren't extremely easy to bend to the shape of this boat, your boat may be straighter. But uh, anyway, so I decided to go with these straps and these are cinch straps. I would suggest to try ratchet straps because when you're trying to pull this, this away and get it where it belongs down there, it can just be aggravating to get it to go right. See what I mean? So, let me slide this over this way. And over this way. That off of there. start with I was going to have this up against the gunnel or whatever you call that jewel but now I've decided to run it along this rib that goes all the way down there all right I think that's going to be close enough we can go ahead and pop some one inch holes in. That's gonna be just about right, right there, I think. So we're going to go in the third groove right there. Now I'm going to try to run it in reverse to keep this from chunking out, get it to cut a little smoother. my hole started on the other side. Just pop it on through. All right, let's go get some bolts. Look like I'd have all this stuff out here with me, don't it? All right, and here's our piece of galvanized. We're gonna assume that's the middle right there. Ain't got to be perfect. Now 
we're just going to use a punch and mark our spot so our drill bit don't slip around. All right, let's see if I can get this in here. What I don't have is any way to pull pressure against this thing without pushing the boot. Let's see what that did. Hey, hey, that got it. I'm only gonna be able to get a nut on it right now. I have to come back for the washer on the inside. I like it. All right, y'all can see what we got going on right there. You can see it from the end right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that three more times. Probably gonna come to the back and put one of those big brackets right here. I may not use one of those big ones in there. I may not use one of those big ones on the two middle. I may just use washers on those. Something that I can fit through this hole. Uh, I could work it in there. I could slide one of these all the way into here somewhere with a magnet, extendable, extendable magnet, and I could use my one inch hole there and work it through there. That's going to be a whole lot of trouble. So I think I may just use the washers there and these two big ones on the ends if you run into anything it's going to be mostly on the front or the back uh, we'll just see how that goes I can always do something different later on if I have to I mean if push came to shove if I put the washers in them along in here and it didn't work out if it broke loose somehow I could come back and cut an access hole right there. Put one of these in there and then cover this back over with something. I don't think it'll be a problem. So, that's what we're doing. All right, we got this one in, it's pretty solid. I'm gonna measure between the front hole and the back hole. We got right at 99 inches right there. So, we will come about 33 inches, make a mark, and then we'll come about 33 inches from here, make a mark, and in between those two we should have close to 33 inches. I actually got about 32 and a quarter. That's good enough. So, I'm gonna pop those two holes in there and then pop those bolts in. I think I just saw another screw up. If I put, if I put this one here, it's gonna be about that far into this bench. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna move this one over far enough to get it away from there and that won't be no problem this one right here is gonna be fine so we're just gonna let that ride all right what you're gonna see me do right now is take this telescope and magnet put it on my little boat with my washer on 
see about where my hole is because I ain't gonna be able to see it with that washer in the way. Straight in. Straight in. And guess what? I don't have a net and washer waiting. So we're just gonna push that on in there. Throw the washer on. Throw on the lock nut. Pull that back out. We're just going to snug this up. Let's say it's a lock nut. I don't want a whole lot of pressure on here constantly. Good enough. I think that's going to work. Now we're going to grab some spray foam and get to spraying. All right, I don't know anything about this foam right here. But if it disforms this to be stabilizer or if it blows it out or anything like that, we'll just have to try something different. But I think what I'm going to do is start on these middle holes and try to shoot it in this way and then see how far it comes towards this hole. And then uh, it may not leave me a spot to go in this way to here I may end up trying to do this number we're just gonna see we're just gonna see what happens that's all we can do I gotta shake this for 60 seconds y'all ain't trying to see that here we go Maybe drilling more holes in this thing. Hey, welcome back. It is the next day, and we're gonna take a look at these stabilizers. But first, let me just say that whether these things work or not, we all got a lot to be thankful for this morning. Our Creator gave us another day down here on this earth, and that's a lot to be thankful for. Let's try not to make him regret it. All right, y'all recall, we put our brackets on this end and this end right here. The middle two, we used washers inside there to make things easier to get to. Now when I started filling this thing with foam, this stuff wasn't expanding as far out away from these one inch holes as I was liking and it was getting aggravating. So I came back and put quarter inch holes in between those in order to move that foam further in and easier. All this will be cut off. I'm probably just gonna trim it off for now to take it back to the pond and test it. And then I'll come back with a serrated edge later on and uh, trim it off right. I think it'd be wise to stop right here where we're at and take this thing back to the pond and check it out, see just how well it works before we take 
all the trouble to do the other side. I do have other ideas for stabilizers and if these don't work out, then you know, we'll just move on to some of that. We'll just pull this off and do something different. I think it's gonna work, what y'all think? Leave me a comment. Y'all, I ain't bragging, I promise I'm not. But the people that subscribe to this channel tend to be a lot better looking than the people around them. And uh, the darndest thing is, I can't explain it, but they tend to get better looking with every video they watch, every like, every share. It's strange, but uh, you look fine to me just like you are. I mean, you look great. Maybe you don't want to look any better. That, that's up to you. I'm just letting you know just in case. Just in case. That's all. That's enough talk about that. Let's get this boat in the water. All right, let's do it. Y'all, that yesterday was a little bit loud. With all that interstate noise right there. I got on the wireless mic today. I'm gonna try not to ruin it. Let's see how this thing does. I ain't a going deep. I could have saved that mic yesterday on that little spill in this shallow water. That don't mean I do it today though. I guess y'all can see right there. All right. I'm gonna be a little more careful about stepping around in this thing. I obviously wasn't being careful yesterday. Get up there where they can see you, boy. What's wrong with you? Now. Hold it right there. We're gonna step to the edge of the boat. doing pretty good if I can just keep my own balance the boat's doing pretty good this front and back is where it was bad yesterday without the stabilizers so let's get back there and try that again and try to stay where you can see me Back corner. Now yesterday, stepping at the back corner, it was coming over the boat right here. Just with me standing here. I don't know, it's still pretty close. I don't know that it's doing a whole lot. Nope, I just brought some in right there. Let's see about the front. Now you would think it's got less stabilizer on the front. It ought to do the same thing. It ought to bring some water over. And you would think I could control this boat like I did yesterday and keep it in the frame. But we may both think wrong. All right, so here, It's better on the front for sure. I can make some water come in right there. But 
I don't I don't know it's better but it's nothing like the stabilizers I did on my first boat and that boat was a lot less stable than this one that's pretty good right there so I say these stabilizers would be fine as long as you're keeping in one of the middle seats. So if you back here with a trolling motor and all, you catch a fish, you got to lean out to get him. You got to lean over the boat like this right here. You still got four inches right there. in the middle of the boat fishing you catch one I mean you ain't leaning that far over to get a, a fish you're gonna reach right here just say you got to stretch out here to get something that's holding pretty well you still got four inches right there on around there, ski boat. And if you happen to be fishing at the front of the boat, you might not be too bright without somebody fishing back there to counter your weight. But, if you were doing such a thing, you can still lean over the boat. I'm all the way on this side. I'm my knee is, I'm not scooted all the way to the side like that. That'd be silly. But, What y'all think? Y'all think it's better than it was? I'm straddling the middle seat. I got my toes up against and up on the side right there. Leaning forward. Stretching out with this right here. And I can rock the boat. All right, knee against the side. I'm putting a lot of leaning in that right here, y'all. A lot of leaning. So if I'm sitting in the middle of the back of the boat and I got one on the line, I'm bringing him over to here. I ain't gonna have no problem, I don't think. I don't think. Obviously the best place you can be is right here in the middle. Sitting right here. That's a lot of weight on this side. I mean I'm I'm about to turn the boat over. I'm on, I'm at the tipping point before I get anywhere near the top of the boat. So, I will say that this stabilizer is successful. It definitely helps. You gotta think that other boat I put the stabilizers on I had a, a three by six inch stabilizers on them and this has only got three by four. So actually you probably ain't got but about two and three quarter by four inches on these. 
that extra foam does make a difference, I can tell you that. I've got some other ideas, like I had said before, for stabilizers, and I'm gonna make some videos on them too. I may do another stabilizer on this boat on the opposite side, now that I'm thinking about it, and use a different foam inside this than the spray foam I used. I don't, I don't know anything about that stuff as far as buoyancy goes, but I'm thinking I may take the same downspout that I used on this on the other side with a different foam and then test these two against each other, see if one's better than the other. And more ideas to come also. Thank y'all for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I truly appreciate it. Till next time, y'all take care.